Hello, welcome to Glasgow City TV. My name's Paul Elliott. I'm here at Kay Park in East Kilbride as the champions visit Celtic in the Scottish Women's Premier League. City go into this one in the back of a great 7-0 victory over Rangers. Celtic, meanwhile, come into this one after a final defeat against Aberdeen. It's a great challenge for the title this season and we're expecting a cracker here. Last time these two met, it was a final victory for Glasgow City, but what will it be today? Let's find out and watch the action with your commentator, Callum Patterson. Thank you very much, Paul. Let's look straight at the team news for Celtic. Gemma Faye, very experienced goalkeeper, Scotland number one, has been out for a lot of this season. She is in goals today. Chloe Craig, captains aside with uh, attack and threat from the likes of Rusha Littlejohn, former Glasgow City player, and they've got a bit of depth on the bench as well. City have got a full complement on their bench, and they've got the riches of a great team that's been firing goals from everywhere at the moment seven goals last week against rangers and with julie fluting and susan field on the bench it won't relent in the second half if they get off to a good start well away aside teams are coming out and celtic have had a bit of an initiative with uh, parkhead season ticket holders getting uh, cheaper injury in so a good crowd in at k park today and we're looking forward to this one and it is Glasgow City, the wayside to get us going. And Denise Sullivan and Claire Shine get the ball rolling. A lovely afternoon. Liam Rossi's corner. Peter Loder in there. Grant as well. And they can't get it away and shouts for handball. Nothing doing, says the referee. Dockery's look thrown to. A Sullivan, again a handball shout against Conley and this time it's been given from the referee. Leon Ross inside 10 minutes. Oh, it's off the post and then, and she finished the game against Rangers last week with a spot kick and she opens the score up here from 12 yards. Our eighth league goal of the season and City off and running. Dockery's delivery. Right into Danger's area. Cheryl McCulloch, I think the one penalised in there from the referee. It's a bit dodgy here and McCulloch's looked that back. Alexander's head onto the ball and the referee and the officials have said that's a pass back. Alexander protests but there was some danger, but you can see why it was given. Celtic trying to work this one out. Little John there. Schumann too. Possible waiting for it. And that's completely sclaffed, that routine. Doherty away. Leon Ross's delivery. Pie in there, headed back towards the face of goal. And then in Gemma Faye's hands. Cuthbert switches out to... Nicky Doherty, McBrearty trying to get back there. Doherty away from the sliding challenge from Middleton. Well, it's just a bit high for a Sullivan to control. Shine. Trying to get round Dalgleish. Does get round Dalgleish. And Cuthbert, it's tipped over the bar by Gemma Faye. An awkward one for the keeper, but dealt with it well. Grant, find space for Cuthbert, Shine, Hayley Lauder, it's wide. Celtic trying to play it away now, Shine, Harry and Chloe Craig gets the ball off Chloe Craig and there's a Sullivan and Lauder in support. And there is Hayley Lauder, well she scored the second here at Key Park in May, it was a bit of a fluky goal that day, but no mistakes there. And in the 38th minute, it's two. Dockery down the line for Clear Shine. Lovely skill away from Connolly. Here's O'Sullivan. Oh, well, spots fail for line. And it's two goals in two minutes. And O'Sullivan with a brilliant chip. And that's 100 goals in all competitions for Glasgow City this season. Brilliant. McCulloch looking for Shine. Lauder 
Shines continue a run and she's through and goal here for four. Straight out of And Celtic survive for the moment. Half time at K Park and City have strolled into a 3 0 lead. The 10th minute penalty from Leon Ross and then two quick fire goals have devastated the home side at the break. Goals from Lauder and then O'Sullivan's terrific chip in the 38th and 40th minute. It's Celtic nil, City 3. Home side is going. Can they muster anything back in the second half? We will see. Fairly, who's just came onto the field of play. O'Sullivan was blocked. There is Julie Fleeting and the other half-time sub is in, in the act. Third goal after our two last week. Doherty just running through the Celtic players. Faye has to come out for evasive action. Doherty having a great game down the wing today. Fleeting off Chloe Craig Cuthbert not giving up it's off Connolly in a way Fay out to McBriarty who's lost it to Fairley Fairley's in here here's Fleeting it's another one for Julie Fleeting and she's really off and going now four goals in two games against the Old Firm sides that's great that she's back playing football this season. And a cool finish. A debrief in the Celtic defence. Leon Ross. Fleeting! Oh, goodness me, how close was that to the hat trick? Maybe I'll got a hat trick last week if she was given the penalty. Leon Ross nods that down from the goal kick. Now here's Fairley. Liam Ross continues a run. Fleeting's there again and shins it in for the hat trick. She was in the right position, never quite connected properly, but again, so simple for City. And Fleeting has a hat trick in the 69th minute. It's into Gemma Faye's hands that. O'Sullivan. Fairly. It's away by Craig. Sullivan's still in there. Comes off McMillan. Not getting away or Celtic. Here's Love. And it's well over and wide. Full time at K Park. And it's 13 goals against both Old Firm clubs in two weeks for Glasgow City. They were 3 0 up at the break thanks to Leon Ross's penalty. And then Lord and Sullivan scoring before a Julie Fleeting off the bench hat trick to make it five goals and two games for a comeback. Good things come to those who wait. So, Paul, full time here, Celtic nil, Glasgow City six. Well, there we are, six nil. It finished here. Pretty formidable performance all round by Glasgow City. Uh, a great victory. Possibly the, the biggest news of the day is that Hibs have lost three 0 away to Aberdeen, which puts Glasgow City three points clear at the top of the league. So it's a good day for Scott Booth. Good day for Glasgow City. Good day for us. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you next time on Glasgow City TV.